increased preload. Now let us see what will happen clinically. What we say is that clinically the right heart failure creates signs. You can see them. You will see pitting edema, you will see the you will be able to feel the liver um, you know distension or hepatomegaly. The left heart is symptoms. If the patient would come and say I cannot breathe well. You cannot see that the, there is a problem with the feet or something, but you'll, patient would be coughing, patient would be saying I cannot breathe well, patient would say when I sleep I get up feeling choking or patient would say when I do exercise I start becoming breathless. So all that would happen. One more thing here on the right side in the clinical cyanosis that occurs both for the left and right, right heart failure usually causes more cyanosis compared to the left. Now, let us see what are the signs and symptoms in the clinical thing. First of all, the jugular vein distension. Because the blood is not entering the right heart, because the right heart is pooled, it is, it is dammed, it has lots of blood in it, it cannot fill easily, the, the blood would start backing up. Where will it back up? So, if it cannot go in here, it is going to go to the veins. So, inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, right? So, superior vena cava, when that would start filling up, then you would be able to see the distension in the jugular vein. So, jugular vein distension is just a very, very quick way to see the right heart failure. Other very quick way to see the right heart failure or, or to notice it is going to be the pitting edema in the pedal area, in the feet area. And what you do is why the edema is pitting and not non-pitting, non-pitting. It is pitting edema because it is serous. It is a transudate. It is not... Uh, it does not have proteins in it. So, it is clear water. Why is the water coming out? Because of increased hydrostatic pressure. So, what happens is as the blood is pooling in the, in the heart here, more blood cannot come in. The blood is now pooling in the vessels behind. The, the blood pooling increased amount of blood, volume of blood present increases the hydrostatic pressure inside the vessels. Increased hydrostatic pressure will do what? It will move, it would push the water out not proteins out, it will push the water out. When the water would get out, that would cause the edema. Now, if you push this edema, if you push on this edema, then that water will be displaced back from the tissue into the blood vessels and move away. So, in another 30, 40 seconds time, you would actually see that where you were pressing, that is where you will actually see a small depression. That depression will refill, but that is what is called the pitting edema. So, you will see the pitting edema in the pedal area, especially on the gravitation. If the patient is lying, then presacral area would show, show the edema. So, it is really the dependent part of the body would show edema. Um, how about the hepatosuprenomegaly? So, look, as the blood starts backing up, what is right behind the in, inferior vena cava? We have liver, right? So, if I make liver here, we have liver. So, blood would start pooling in the liver. So, you would see centrilobular edema. So, if you take a, a histopathological slide around the central veins, you will see edema and you will see pallor around that. In the advanced stages, that edematous areas would start becoming necrosed as well because there is not enough oxygenation over there and there is continuous abuse. So, in the beginning, there will be hepato hepatomegaly. The liver will be as you start palpating for the liver, you will see that liver border has come down because liver has become bigger. And there is a hepatojugular reflux. What is that? If you press on the liver, then you would see the jugular vein distending more. That is hepatojugular reflux, that will be positive. In some patients, the spleen would also be, uh, you know, bigger because of the congestion in it. And so, hepatosplenomegaly, these are congestive. That is why this is also called congestive heart failure, both right and left. In the case of left, lungs are congested. In the case of right, the uh, viscerals, GIT viscerals in the body is congested. One more thing would happen is that there will be ascites. Why would the ascites occur? If the blood that needs to go back to the liver and from there to the heart, if that is not happening, then the blood is going to stay in the veins, which are collecting blood from the GIT system and as the, the blood starts pooling in those veins, it is going to start oozing out there as well and ascites would develop and you can actually feel the ascites, you can palpate for the ascites, you can tap for the ascites. So, 
um, ascites would develop, hepatosuprenomegaly would develop, hepatojugular reflex will be present, pitting edema will be present, all signs. Then what would happen to the heart itself? You would be able to hear S3 and S4 gallop. Why? Because the heart has become bigger in size, there is increased volume of blood and the, as the atria, as the AV valve open and the blood falls in it, in the ventricle, it is going to cause a lot of ripples and those ripples because of the already pooled blood, these would be heard. Early diastolic is S3, late diastolic is when atria contracts and pushes more blood and causes the ripple, that would be the S4. So S3 and S4 will be heard. How about tricuspid regurg? How about the regurg of the tricuspid valve? Yes, that would happen. Why? Because of the stretching of the, of the ventricle, the um, muscles that would pull on the AV valve will not pull with the equal lengths. So one muscle has gone here and it cannot pull correctly and the other muscle has gone there because of the dilation or displacement of papillary muscles would occur. The end result is because of dilation, the tricuspid valve will not close properly and so tricuspid regurg may be present. It may develop as part of the heart failure and you will be then be able to hear the murmur. What kind of murmur would you hear? It is tricuspid regurg, AV regurg. In the systole, you would hear the murmur.